Welcome back, everybody. I'm in Studio C with our great friend, Phil Steinhauer from Designscapes Colorado, and he's going to help us get rid of all the pests that we don't want in the garden, but safely. Yes. And, you know, on the cheap. We just go into the uh, cupboards and go start finding things. Go to the kitchen cabinet or the medicine cupboard, and you don't have to worry about poisoning yourself, your dogs, your kids, all that. So Sounds here's some good. simple solutions that actually work real well as well. Wonderful. Um, the first one we're going to do is kind of a garlic oil spray. Okay. And I've pre-measured some things so we can go quickly. But right. basically, I've been marinating... Uh, uh, minced garlic. This is about 10 to 15 tablespoons. Something like this that you would get in a jar. Or, or you can, can chop it. Own. Yeah, whichever. And then just marinate that in vegetable oil for 24 hours. All right. Then pour it right into the strainer. So we're getting the essence of the garlic. Yes. So now we have but made not the this chunks. Bit. Yep. Okay. And then you want to pour uh, a teaspoon of liquid dish soap can into use there. This yep. Here? That's perfect. Liquid dish, dish soap. soap. Yeah. And make sure you use dish soap, not detergent. Dish um, soap, stir not detergent. That. Yep. Okay. And then just stir that. Alrighty. And pour that in with a funnel into your bottle, and you're ready to go. Cool. Spray this on your just plants. Just fast. Yeah. All right, let's try. We don't, we don't need do to, it? or should we think. move along? We should move along. Okay, and you brought some filters to filter these out the are garlic great little, chunks. Yeah, if you don't have a strainer, these work great, too. Just pouring it through some coffee filters Good is, to know. Is, okay. is a great way. Garlic, vegetable oil, water, and liquid dish And this soap. is great for aphids, white flies, oh. any of the bugs. Spray, make sure you kind of soak the plant, and then leave it on for a few hours, and then hose it off. So you and don't your plant to, won't smell like garlic? Film? It will a little bit, a but little bit. the other thing also on all of these tips, you want to do it in the morning when it's cooler, okay. not when it's hot, um, and also after the plant's been well watered, not when it's stressed. I see. And now we're making what? We're going to make a fungicide um, that is good for powdery mildew or black spot. Is that this one's, coconut? Nope. That's actually just some bar soap that I bar shaved. Soap. So you want some oh, soap flakes. Oh, okay. We don't want to feed the mildew and the Exactly. And the so fungus. we have one teaspoon, and this goes into warm water. Okay. And then one teaspoon of baking soda. Oh. Stir that. Okay. And then you want to do the same thing. This is some warm water, so it's going to take a little bit of time for those soap uh, flakes to melt. Um, but then you would, again, pour that in your spray bottle. And this is great for roses that are maybe getting black spot or oh, yeah. powdery mildew. Okay. Um, and so, again, spray on the infected areas every two or three weeks. And none, then these ingredients won't hurt your roses. No. No. Nope, Wonderful. Nope. I'm going to take my spoon with me just in case. Okay, great. The other one I have, we've had uh, a lot of people have problems with rodents and rabbits and things like mm -hmm. that in your garden. So another quick solution for that is, again, two cups of water. Two cups of water. And then you want uh, two tablespoons of cayenne pepper or chili pepper. Oh, um, right. And then, more soap? Yep, a little bit more. You want a teaspoon of dish soap, and that just allows it to adhere to the plant. So the okay. dish soap is really stir that up. Again, put it in your water bottle. Okay. And I like to recycle them. Here's one, you know, if you've got the cleaning solution or whatever, rinse it out real well and then just recycle. But import, it's important that you label it so you know what you're doing. Very good. And that kind of leads us into vinegar is a great herbicide. All right. So this one, this last one we just did with yep. the cayenne pepper and the soap is for repelling rabbits. Might yes. it also work for deer? I hear a lot of people complaining about deer attacking Really, uh, what I've heard on deer is hanging b actually bars of soap in pantyhose it is a great, and, and actually the ones, you know, the little pieces that you get at the end of the bar that are hard yes. to use because they have your human scent on it and then they also have the soap scent. So okay. that's a great Try way. Try that. And let to, us know if it works. To do that. Okay, next. What are we doing next? This is a simple solution of literally vinegar and some lemon juice. Um, and this is great for the weeds in the cracks of your driveway or your sidewalk. So you need to be careful because this will damage other plants. Okay. So you don't want to do it on a breezy day. So it's but, really acidic. But, yeah, so you don't want to do this like to weeds in your grass. But anything where you're not touching other plants, this is a great way to kill the weeds in your so, cracks of your sidewalk. So your own homemade Roundup, it seems Yes, like. exactly. Okay, very good. What's this, Phil? Um, cornmeal is great for getting rid of ants. So if you have ah. ants in your sidewalk, sprinkle some cornmeal, and it's not very nice what it does, but it actually, they eat it and they explode. So. <laughs> okay. So. I heard that grits work the same yeah, way. Yeah, same thing. Okay. The other way is also, if you don't like that method, is uh, peppermint oil. Dip some cotton balls in that and just put this in that? the... 
and then just put that okay. wherever your ants are on the ant hill or okay. whatever, and this wards them off as well. Wonderful. Another great ant. Uh, and this has to be our last one here, Phil. Okay, another great ant solution is using just uh, cucumber peels. So just taking your cucumber peel and then putting these around the infected areas. And I guess this bitter smell and taste, oh, it wards them off. So. The reason we remove this from uh, salad sometimes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting. Thank you, Phil. Great sure. suggestions. Well, we're going to put up a link to Phil's recipes that you don't want to eat, but you want other critters to eat <laughs> on our website, thedenverchannel.com. Just click on that big red button. And I'll also have that link on my Facebook page, Phil. Great. Okay.